Yeah, I do actually. That's why I make these videos. Um, hello, I'm the Smoking Cheddar, and you already knew that. This is Tide Watcher. He's versatile field attack, and we are looking at another officer spotlight video. As always, we will go from the tactical skill from left to right through to the end to get to the uh, awakened skill. Uh, we'll grade all of the skills between 1 and 5 and give him an overall score at the end. And we'll have a little bit of a discussion about how we can use this officer. Any advice I give you is to be taken with a pinch of salt. So all of these are taken from the point of view of what I have learnt so far. Should we have a look at his tactical skill? Daring Stand calls for an airstrike dealing damage to an enemy up to 1800 damage coefficient. If the target has over 50% HP remaining, the airstrike deals extra damage of 450 coefficient. I think this is a 5. This is a reverse kill shot. I like this. Again, I, uh, in a lot of these instances, I haven't actually read all of the skills. I've just gone, oh, he has a coefficiency, he's going on a damage. Or he's got a shield coefficiency, he's going on a soak. Um, that's pretty much all I have done so far. I hadn't actually read this skill properly. All I saw was that he does 1800 damage coefficiency and there's a bonus. That's the first time I've actually read the skill. That is really good. I like that. If you're over 50% HP and he drops a tactical skill on you, that is going to suck. That is so bad. <laughs> I like it. Uh, his second skill, Final Defense, increases the officer's skill boost ooh, by 30%. We get an additional 30% there, boys. I think uh, I, th I think that's a f that's 30% additional skill damage. A whole third. Once this dude's awakened, a whole third. Yeah, that's got to be a five, isn't it? I, I, you know, I love my skill damage. I think my skill damage makes makes the game entirely. So I love that skill. That's that's brilliant. I have not seen what this balance skill is. Ocean Fortress increases the firepower of the officer's troop by up to 20% and the HP buff by up to 20%. I feel like this should have been on the defensive officer rather than him. I like this skill though. Um, for the fact that it's on this officer, I... I <laughs> I'm reluctant, but 20% firepower and 20% HP, that's given him quite a bit of balance. He'd be really good on a destroyer. That's lucky I'll put him on a destroyer, really. Um, I'm going to give this a 4, because I gave the... And the reason being is I gave the 40% HP and the 40% firepower both a 4. This obviously totals to 40%, but we've got... An, it's it's quite literally a balanced skill sitting nicely in the middle. So I, I quite like this. That's a, That's a 4. A special skill for his fourth skill, as always, these make or break the officer. Uh, counter Salvo increases missile defense of this officer by up to 25%. That's a four. I mean, 25%, that's, that's pretty good. Moves us on to Wavebreaker, his awakened passive skill. Whenever this officer's troop kills an enemy unit, it has a 30% chance to shorten the prep time of its skills by one second and can be triggered once every eight seconds. I don't think that's particularly good. I think that's very lackluster considering the amount of damage he's outputting. Uh, I think that's a three. It requires you to get a kill. Um, it doesn't say what type of kill, so it doesn't say if that includes aircraft or not. Um, I think one second is okay. I don't think it's terrible. Uh, it certainly doesn't make me sit there and go, Ugh, you know, but um, that could be better. I mean... Overall, this officer is pretty decent. He's a 4.2. Um, I just feel like Wavebreaker lets it down. It could be better. Now, where would I put him? Depending entirely upon how that skill uh, gets activated, 
whether or not that does count when it shoots down an enemy uh, air asset, which I won't know until he's awakened, which is not going to be for a considerable length of time, I assure you that. Um, I think uh, we're looking at maybe a uh, anti-aircraft destroyer. Now, as I've said in the previous videos, uh, the destroyers are the MBTs of the sea. Uh, they will attack other ships with great efficiency and they all then specialize in one small niche and with this guy we've got an increased missile defense if you put him on an aircraft destroyer uh, you get a sort of a network style defense which increases the uh, missile intercept capability of all of the other navy ships so i think that that's going to be extremely good uh on a uh anti-aircraft destroyer those missiles that it will be firing off will be deadly the anti-air will be deadly and the missile intercept will increase its frequency um just by virtue of the ship it's on and uh the other ships nearby and the skills i think he's gonna be pretty good yeah i think this guy's a pretty good officer i think if you see him on a submarine it's probably a bit wasted that being said his tactical skill will absolutely shred on a submarine because it will just pop up target an aircraft carrier pop off run away and you can almost guarantee as long as that as long as that tactical skill is timed and it's prepped and it's gone off just the right moment when it attacks the enemy aircraft carrier and it's over 50 percent hp you know it is going to absolutely ruin it and destroyers obviously having a nice big hefty boost of damage that's also going to work well on them. I don't think he's going to do particularly well on, on a frigate, if I'm honest. Um, he's got no speed bonuses. So there's no real pursuit capability to hunt down and destroy enemy subs. I don't think his skills would work particularly well on an aircraft carrier either. I think this is a destroyer captain through and through. Um... As always, the deep dive will be coming for the Navy videos. Um, I kind of want to wait until the tech tree is out. I'm not going to rush into it. I am going to wait until the tech tree is out. So we can we can do the deep dive properly. We can talk about the, the units properly. I will be answering questions on my views for this in the Q&A, which will be coming as soon as we hit 1,000. I will then schedule it with you guys uh i will I'll put out a, a, a q a time which is convenient for me it might not even be when we hit a thousand it might be in the next few days uh depending on life i mean come on guys you know we're all adults here uh, mostly and um i've got work you know and, and everything i'm a father so you know uh we've got stuff that needs to be done in real life so this will all the uh, unanswered questions will get answered in the q a uh, the live q a and uh once the tech tree comes out we will then do a uh, deep dive i've been the smoking cheddar you've been very patient thank you for watching the third in the most recent installment of the officer spotlights videos uh i've got no joke about this guy except that he looks like he's probably drank too much vodka and smoked too many cigarettes